Shalom. All praises go to the Most High Yahweh, Basham Yahshar, Basham Yahweh, that's double on the son to the elder apostles, a great millstone for the teachings of the scriptures, among other things. Shalom to the sincere I came across the world. Now, yesterday, uh, I think it was yesterday, yeah, some clown came on my channel and said like, yeah, you ain't got a lot of followers, you got a lot of videos, but you're making hours of videos and not a lot of views and stuff like that. Well, you know, he was boasting about smaller channels having more views than me. Meanwhile, I have more videos. So, well, I answered him a few things and <laughs> a few funny things too. But yeah, so I thought about it and I think to myself, like, let me make a video real quick. Yeah, all right, this up. And I'm gonna show you what YouTube is capable of doing, right? Now, this is that guy named Hassan Campbell. It's very funny because he made a video and he said these numbers ain't adding up. The game is rigged. I already know that. But now here he had, as you can see here, 24,000 views. And he streamed it like 47 seconds ago. So he was just done streaming. A 3 hour, 26 minute, 30 second video. And then at the end of the video, then he checked it out. And then he basically saw that, no, it was 40,000 views. Just to show you that they're playing with his numbers, but they're playing with our numbers too, because we ha I have been saying that for years, but I don't care. Why? Because Matthew 22 and 14. Now, here comes the part where I don't care. But I have to put it out there, because <coughs> Esau's doing a number on these people, man. And what number? The mental one. You see, he's a scientist. He's a mad scientist. He is a psychologist, a shrink. He knows minds. He does experiments because it is in the power of their hand. They practice it. They practice, practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Micah 2 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. They are the one that devise it, man. They plan it. Devise plan they plan evilness for example they plan that you know a boy can chop off his genitals when he's young but he is not allowed to drink alcohol nor to drive but he's allowed to take hormones in in, in order for them to grow tits they got crazy stuff like and i forgot the name it was uh htr something like that htr or hrt treatment HRT, hormone replace treatment before and after boys. Uh, no, isn't it this? Mm, I think this is it. Yeah, H. Oh, oh HRT. Yeah, HRT. I always say no, no sense. <coughs> I often say HTR, but it's HRT. As you can see here, you see this nose, turn into a whatever, whatever the hell, right? And then it turns into this. You have this. What effect does HRT have? I always say HDR. Damn. It turns from a female face, facial structure, into a boy. So you have it vice versa too. You can, from 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 a facial man into a, a facial type of girl. And it also grows back your hair. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not kidding. I looked it up. Yeah, yeah, they do that. They do that. I saw it. So they can do these things. See, these Edomites can do these things. What? what, what? Yeah, they can do these things with HRT. Change the agenda, never regret it. Right, whatever, whatever. Uh, this, this is what they can do. I'm not kidding you. They can do this. They can do this, man. They can do this. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, so what's this one here? Yeah, they can do this, you know? Uh, it's the same broad chin. But after after a while, it probably is gonna, probably going to get smaller. This looks like a, just a very ugly chick. All right. <laughs> yes, <it is. laughs> but they can do these things. They devise iniquity, man. <clears throat> they plan it. They devise it. You know what I'm saying? Right, going on. And we're evil up on their beds. That's some evil shit that I just showed you right there. Okay. When 
when the morning is light, they practice it. Why, why do they do that? Because it is in the power of their hand. They're able to do it. So they do it. They're the wicked. They're evil people. They do things like that. So <clears throat> they're on that side of the world because I don't care. Because they can do these type of things and they're satanic. But what we focus on is Matthew twenty two fourteen. For many are called, but few are chosen. This these elites are playing a number trick on these pe people, man. They all about followers. They all about views. They all about yeah, you ain't got millions of subscribers, do, 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 stuff like that. But you 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 you, you pick the wrong guy to boast against uh, with being a lover of self. What is it, First Timothy? Second, then. Second Timothy three one. This know also. So the Lord was warning us already. Like you, you should get, you should get ready for this. Don't let people trick you. Like, hey man, I need to get my followers up and my views up. But Esau is a psychologist, man. He knows that <clears throat> having low numbers, for example, can demotivate you. Like, oh. <sighs> People ain't watching my views, my, 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 my videos anyway, so I could just take my time. It don't really matter. You don't know how many people are actually w watching you, and it doesn't even matter if they're, if, if a lot of people are not watching you. The Lord said, the laborers are few, but the work is plenty. Labor is plenty, but few, something like that. Matthew 9, 37. Then said he unto his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous. It's a lot. There's a lot of work to be done. But the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore that the Lord of harvest, that he will send forth laborers into this harvest. Yeah. Finna go uh, get, gather all the weed into the barn. Gather all the sheep into the barn. Which are the people. And the weed are the people too. Watch out for them tear babies. You know? Just gather them all together in the book of Matthew 22. It says gather them all together. And in the end there shall be gnashing of teeth. Because we just we just now throw a fist net. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to get as... Uh, 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 we going out there talking to everybody possible. Because we don't know who's a tear and a weed sometimes. Sometimes you don't know. The guy might be darker than you. He's Edomite. His great granddaddy is Edomite, man. Um, President... This is uh, Thomas Jefferson's uh, children, okay, uh, that he got with this so-called black female slave of his. Let me see, Thomas Jefferson's children. Thomas Jefferson's black, so-called black, uh... here, this guy. This guy is an Edomite, man. He's a tear baby. The fact that I know about him shows me, oh, yeah, I know your forefather on your father's side. So I know that this is a tear baby, but they have others. They have a they, he, he, he. There's a clip that shows all of them, all of them, their descendants and stuff like that. All of them. Yeah, this is a tear baby. This is not an Israelite because this is not, this is an Edomite. So he's an Edomite. And don't say crazy stuff. Well, he could be. Just shut up. <laughs> Those are Edomites, man. <laughs> anyway, right. So, yeah. But we gather them all together. And the Lord is the one that's going to separate them one from another. Separate the sheep from the goat. And separate the evil sheep. The two-thirds from the good goat, the uh, sheep. The better sheep. Right. So many are called, but few are chosen. So it's not a numbered thing with us. You know what I'm saying? But... I do know, and I, it is a thing of psychology, like your mind. It motivates you when you see like a thousand something views. You be like, man, I gotta do another video because I can't let the people wait. You know, I need to feed the sheep. If you love me, feed my sheep. But if it shows that you got like ten views and da -da 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 -da, whatever, it might, it might. It's a possibility. Even though you still keep on making videos, y'all right, this out. We still keep on making videos. 
it's still going to be there. And Esau knows this, but what we need to do is know this also, 2 Timothy 3 and 1, that in the last days perilous times shall come. So very dangerous times will come in the last days. Times of death, very close near to you, full of danger or risk. They have all these grievous laws set up in order to trap us, man. <laughs> anyway, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Aren't you seeing that right about now? Lovers of themselves. Aren't these uh, mo so-called models? Because the word model means something that you want to model yourself after. These people are not models, man. They're not a model. You know who's a model? A real role model? The scriptures, the men of the scriptures, the, the women of the scriptures. Model. A thing used as an example to follow or imitate. Instagram models and stuff like that, you know? Or just catwalk models or these rap models, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things that these elites know that the majority of the people want to emulate. I'm going to give you an example of a fact. So I typed this on Google. <laughs> Ranked news publishers on Instagram, press gates, whatever, whatever. So this is the press gate thing. Ranked news publishers on Instagram growth from 2021 to 2023. So yeah, of course I scrolled down. This is the website, but I scrolled down before I turn on the video thing. Right, uh, okay. Uh, let me open it a little bit. I right, oh shit, too much. Uh, what? Why is this thing not showing the? What the hell? Bro? Okay. So it should. Um, no, no, no. I don't want the growth. I want the actual numbers. <laughs> Right, it says here, uh, biggest news brands on Instagram. And this is an article from what? Let me see. June 28, 2023. And I see here that you have, I just saw it, I just saw it. Page one, two, three, but I don't need to go fix that up. I just want the highest numbers, okay? You can go to page three because it says the 50 biggest ones, okay? So other ones, let me see. Other ones have like, number 51 has like 266,000 and then you have others, you know, 200,000 and stuff like that. But then we go to page one because it start at number 36, there's, there's, there's where 1 million followers starts. And this is time and Sunday times, times and Sunday times. These are all news anch uh, anchors, Telegraph, Yahoo Finance, Mail Online, Sky News. News outlets, not anchors, sorry. News outlets, which have news anchors working for them. But let me focus on this one for here for a little bit. Now, it says here BBC News has 25 million. One year ago, it had 22 million, right? So it grew 3 million in one year. Okay, two years ago, it had 18, whatever. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool, get So check this out. This news outlet here has hundreds, if not thousands of people. You have the makeup guy, which fixes up the news anchors. Oh yeah, you have the news anchors. You have the cable guy that that fixes the cable so that they don't trip over the cables behind the camera screen that we see. You have the director, you have the producer, you have the guy that has the teleprompter so that they can read. You have the news anchors that have to do so-called um, individual study in the field. Well, they used to be real journalists. Nowadays, they just read a script. That's That's all they do. You have the stylist, you have the, the clothing guy, you have the this department, you have that department, you have the visual department, you have the editing guy the, and department, you have the, mm, the script person, you have the script people, you know, the write the scripts and stuff like that. You have all these people working together. You have the, just like at the end of the movie, you see hundreds of names, sometimes thousands, yeah, more than a thousand at least. You see all these names credited, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, one news outlet has about thousands, thousands of people. So all put together, these are hundreds of thousands of people. Okay, hundreds of thousands of people. And one of those has only 25, I'm saying only because this is a lot, this is a lot. But compared to the things that I'm about to show you, has only 25 million current subscribers. This is a news outlet. This is the voice of Esau. This is how he talks to people. 
these are yeah his commercial prop you can say commercial profits profits spelled with a f <laughs> these are his profits these are the ones these are this is the voice of esau this is how he gets his news out there right so now you have like what is this the same thing yeah yeah i can i can get rid of this right so now you have a female like i don't even know this female i just found her online man i just clicked in i was actually clicking ariana grande but then this one popped up then i said oh yeah let me, let me use this one so i saw she has 17 million followers like and then i clicked on one of her photos which is this one you know i saw one million i was like what the fuck just one million likes on one photo beats out all these news thing you know and and uh, news uh, outlets their followers Th these are just likes <laughs> these are just likes right one million something likes do you know how powerful this 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 thing is this uh, this female over here so-called model she's not a goddamn model but anyway but the point is that you know how powerful she is that's why these elites are trying to get these people behind them so that they can push their stuff that's why you have a lot of sponsors working uh, with them to be like hey if you do this i'll give you a couple of million a, a week uh, how about that i'll give you a couple of hundred thousand a week how about that they give you a couple of thousand a week i'll give you a couple of thousand a day how about that how about that you know what i'm saying i'll give you a couple of million a year all you need to do is just promote me promote me pop 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 pop, pop. so this individual single individual person of course you have so-called handlers and people that work for her uh, fixing her Instagram sometimes they do it themselves you know but I'm sure you cannot comment on all 1026 uh, 3735 2028 you can't you can't it's it's too much you're gonna be busy like a few days if you just have to just re respond to all three of these so sometimes they have people that work for them and stuff like that and she has only 1,704 huh? sorry 1,754 <laughs> posts and I'm sure that these news outlets have hundreds of thousands of posts I don't know I didn't look it up but it's a news outlet they're supposed to be continually and they have rotations they have different anchors news anchors they have different uh, people working for them making content you know content for to use to push their agenda of oh we're gonna talk about this because this is important oh Kim Kardashian has new underwear yay stuff like that you know what I'm saying so or she just dyed her hair and like that's news uh, new hair dye what was it what was daily 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 something with daily um, it, it here daily mail Kim Kardashian copies. Kim Kardashian debuts the divorce die. Post divorce die. What? What the? What the? What the fuck is this, bro? This is the buzz. Feed you <laughs> with news and information. <laughs> right. Reveal her new hair after multiple with a multiple dis. How you call that thing? Multiple personality disorder, meaning demons, legion. <laughs> After the legion, that's why they gotta change their hair color because this is another person. A demon jumped up up in there. Another demon, you should say. But anyway, so right. So the point is this, right? She has. She's all on her own. People don't come to this website looking for different people. Like when you go to BBC or CNN. You might like one anchor. You have this sodomite named Lennon. I'm not. I'm not even gonna. And the other guy with white hair. Uh, yeah, this one, the other sodomite here, and the other one is the Lennon, the the, 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 the sodomite. <laughs> that one. I'm not. I'm not even gonna look it up. But anyway, people know these names. I don't know their names. I know the Lennon because it sounds like lemon. I know he's a sodomite. I don't know his first name. Uh, I'm lucky for that. I'm proud of that. <laughs> but anyway, so um, pe 
people people go to these new outlet outlets and hope maybe they can catch a glimpse of him or a glimpse of another person or a female you have multiple people that people wanna for, for, for their reason to subscribe to you but this one has only one person and she has 17 million people come to look at her that you know how powerful this actually is it's more powerful than the majority of the let's see more than the top three sorry um, more than um, no 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 not more than the top three less than the top three of the news anchors which have thousands of hundreds of thousands of people working for them behind the scenes all collectively put together of all top 50 of these news brands and stuff like that so these people their voice is very powerful that's why Esau he, he has to do damage just, just like for example we have like our thing you know the Hebrew Israelites and stuff like that what we do on, uh, on the internet and stuff like that right but then Kanye Pest he comes and he mentions the Hebrew Israelite one time until boom all of a sudden everything skyrockets like people start to listen people start to really believe like yeah we are the Jews we are so they did they, they they're panicking now they got to do the damage control oh we're gonna cut ties with you we're gonna punish you we're gonna make you <clears throat> why he has more followers than their so-called influencers these are all influencers you can call them right they have more power than these those like the kanye west the basketball guy too i don't know his name i don't know his name he's he's he also said that we're israelites but then he had to donate to to Islam. Let me see. Uh, uh, let's see. He says he's an Israelite. What was it? What's his name? Oh yeah, the Karin, Kyrie Irving thing. The Kyrie Irving thing. Let me see. Yeah, this guy. This guy on uh, donates donates to uh, Islam. And he did, let me see, and after his so-called uh, anti-Amalek speech, he had to go and donate to the, hmm. oh, I didn't know that, <clears throat> yeah, because they was against him, they was against him, but, um, let me see, NBA, And it wasn't this this time because it was 2022, and uh, the uh, so-called anti no, not so-called, the anti-Amalekism was on anti-Amalekism was on uh, 22. It was in uh, 22 also, but then he was 14 22, sorry 14 November two, 2022. Oh yeah, on 10 November, something like that, man. Some something like that. Anyway. Then later on, he had to donate 60 million, 60,000 to these, to the black uh, Muslim thing, the schools and stuff like that. He got told to. He got told to. I'm going to give you an example of a fact. Wait. Right. Um, uh, I'm not busy with this guy. This guy's an entertaining clown. Um, I don't like his personality, by the way. But anyway, he has some funny topics. So I check it out. But he's always trying to be hard. I hate niggas. They're always trying to be hard for no reason. Like, why are you hard, man? Why are you trying to be hard? Just be normal, man. Anyway, listen to what he shows. That's the only reason I'm showing you this. I'm a space now where I understand that doors open and behind those doors are other doors. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy that wants to keep opening up the doors and I'm going to be with the people that are getting open. You, you, you're willing to put a dress on. That's it. Go on. Yeah, and that monkey be clapping like a seal. Uh, 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 uh. Right. Did you hear what he just said? There's a door. Right, but then I want want you to get this one. This industry is not. <clears throat> hear it. This industry is not what it seems to be. Listen, this is a rapper. You got 200 followers. I bet you there's rappers in here right now that can rap way better than me. You can't, you can rap way better than me. You will never be where I'm at because this industry is rigged. It's rigged. Listen, 
You have to sit down with Spotify, sit down with Apple. You have to. You have to. Do this interview. You have to. You have to. If you don't want to, you have to. You have to go see this person and sit down and talk to them. You have to go and do this. You have to. You have to. Yo, you, you gotta take the bus. Literally, you can say, I don't feel like doing that. I don't even like that person. You have to. They're a puppet. You can't say something. Take that down. You, take it down right now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. He okay. said, you can't say certain shit. I had to replay that a few times. Because he said it too fast. I want to smack the funky up this motherfucker. He made me like, what did he just say? So I listened carefully. And he said, you can't say certain shit. You can't say certain shit. Take that down. Take it down right now. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Don't say that. Tell so these are the things that they're doing. And I'm going to give you an example. For example, you have, how you call this guy? Um, No, 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 wait, wait. Spirit cooking you have spirit cooking right <clears throat> so it says here saw the article it says here this is an old article by the way and we just recently knew this because if it wasn't for the internet we wouldn't have this so the heavenly father caused esau to make this internet because their own things are gonna actually be used against them because the heavenly father is the one that created this it was philip imugwali he put the spirit on him uh, what was it again psalms no it wasn't psalms what was it again? Psalms, oh yeah, Psalms 9. Psalms 9 and uh, Nas Uncut Taking his urine, yes. Uh, here. This one, good man. Okay, Psalms 9 and 15. The heathen are sunk down in the pit that they made. In the net which they hid is their own foot taken. This is also going to cause them to be smoked by their own nuclear missiles in the, in the World War III. Because they created it in order to kill themselves. That's going to happen. But they want to chip people too. <clears throat> they want to enslave people too. Guess what? They're going to be enslaved. Yahweh is known by the judgments which he executed. The wicked is snared. In the work of his own hands. Resounding music, let it be so. Hagaon is, if I'm correct, it's, it's basically resounding music. Basically, music to my ears. Then you have uh, 10. Psalms 10 and 1. 2. The wicked is in his pride, doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. Now, what type of de what's devices? Their plans. A plan, method, or trick with a particular aim. And they aim to steer you into certain things, like listening to that gangster music. But when you put a video of just uh, violence that Esau does, not even violence, one of the things that Esau does, he calls it violence and harassing. Meanwhile, you got videos on YouTube branding guns, talking about killing other jigs. But that's allowed. But don't worry. This is their platform. So we just let them do what they do. And once that time comes, we'll exterminate you. But to th after a thousand years only. Because we really want to get to you. Because when you die, you don't get to suffer. We're going to keep you alive as, far, as long as possible. You ain't dying on my plantation. If you do, I'll wake you back up. Okay? So prepare for that. Right. So let me put the one from Nas here. No, I think it's genius. Wait a minute. Right, like I said, the, the, without the internet, we wouldn't know about these type of things. For example, you have this here, which is this female. See, he's talking about spirit cooking. So, saliva of your lover mixed with morning dew collected from eucalyptus leaves. Um, this is a fucking witchcraft shit. And this is blood, by the way. Cut with the knife deeply into your middle finger of your left hand. Eat the pain. Morning urine sprinkled over the nightmare dreams. So you mix that. Spirit cooking. Mix fresh breast milk with fresh sperm milk. Goddamn. Drink on earthquake nights. Spin around until you lose consciousness. Try to eat all the questions of the day. Whatever, man. 
a drop of the same mixed with a drop of water it's a shame yeah shame yeah you are going to be in shame that's why they have shame shaming rituals um so you need to eat that just like just like how you eat knowledge and stuff like that you know um you know right but this is not no freaking um e eating um mentally this is this is physical take in what what take I don't know what it says right here. Take in a small, take in a, oh, take in a small amount before crying, right? Because you're going to be crying. And this is produced. So in 1990, she created it, right? The spirit cooking thing is going into Satanism. But around, around 2016, this article is written in, in let me see, 2020. But she was doing these type of things, you know, from, uh, you know, a lot of, a time ago, times ago, but the point is that yeah, let me see here. It was in '99. Okay, cool. Check. <laughs> She's talking about the uh, you need to drink sperm and stuff like that. So now we know what he was saying in this song. When when, when did it come out? Nas song. You're the man. Release date. Whatever. <clears throat> Two thousand one. Okay, cool. Two thousand one. So. <clears throat> it says here he said uh, let me see so you know he's doing some devil shit over here going to graveyards whatever yeah you had to swallow that dirt uh, which is when you go to the grave and you touch the grave you're unclean so he did some unclean shit here in need for love for love who for love of the world he said at church on my hand was a preacher's blood so basically He's going against the things of the Bible because that's what it represents. Because, yeah, if you do the things of Satanism, you are automatically one of the killers of the prophet because you're doing it for the love of money. The love of see the money is not evil. See the root. Let me read it. The love for money is the root of all evil. Money is an evil because it's an inanimate object. It doesn't move. It doesn't breathe. It does. It's not real. Well, uh, sorry, it is not alive. You are. First Timothy 6.10 For the love of money is the root of all evil. Which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. Okay, many sorrows. Okay, cool. And pump, it says, uh, I vomit, blunt, whatever. So it says here, and pump led at you devils trying to take my freedom. So now he's saying... Just like how Tupac said, it's like he was shoot, he was trying to kill the Illuminati, but they're, they're more powerful than you. They have a gang. They're organized. They're well-structured. You have a bunch of thug niggas that will run at the sight of police. I ain't scared of no nigga. Ten toes down, nigga. Oh, shit. Where, where is 12 out? I ain't going to jail, nigga. I ain't going to jail, nigga. Bitch-ass nigga, but you tough guy, though. But anyway, <clears throat> whole-ass nigga. As soon as the police come around, I'm nervous. <laughs> Why? Because you did some shit, <laughs> right? So, yeah, it's, but anyway, so but he's telling you like he's he's talking about these Edomites, these devil worshippers. They're trying to take his freedom, trying to take his freedom as in controlling his thoughts. That's why they control these uh, artists, these celebrities. They take your freedom, man. You sign here, you done. <laughs> you get to do. You're my bitch now. You know what I'm saying? So it drove me crazy the day I drank my own urine. <clears throat> now we know, we already know that he they did that. <clears throat> but now you can see like, oh shit, they made him do these things. Mo for collected for, uh, uh, din -din -din. Morning urine sprinkled over my nightmare dreams. Ooh. It looks silly like, what? Sprinkled? You can't sprinkle over your nightmare dream. Well, what, what did that... Well, he wants to, he wants to, it's his dream to make it in America, right? So, <clears throat> drink some piss. Why don't you drink some piss over here? <clears throat> the day I drank my own urine, <clears throat> my own semen. Isn't that what they tell you right here to do? Fresh breast milk with fresh sperm milk. You know, your semen. Whether it be somebody else's semen or your own. With a nine to my brain. So he got threatened. But wait a sec. 
Give me time to explain. Explain what? You just drank your own fucking sper- um, sperm and your own urine. You don't have to explain anything. But let me read on. Give me time to explain. Explain what? Women in fast cars. Oh, you did it for the money and the bitches. That's why you drank your own shit, basically. Might have drunk feces too. I don't know. But that's why you drunk your own uh, body fluids. <clears throat> and diamond rings can poison a rap star. You only a sucker. Because a person that knows like, oh, you want to get them diamond rings? You want to get the bitches? You want to get the fast car? You want to get that money? Start doing this. And I'm going to take your freedom too. What you going to do? Fight me? <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. I put a nine to your head and make a police officer do it too. Talking about, I'm going to go to the cops. Oh, you do you want to be labeled a snitch? Wait a minute. Yeah, do you want to be labeled a snitch? <laughs> or I'm going to just show you that you can't do anything because I got the police in my pocket. What are you going to do about that? You ain't got this shit. So, for the diamond rings, basically the power and the money and stuff like that can be can be poisoned to a sucker. It's not just the rap star with sellers. So, artists, like, uh, sorry, actors, and uh, other people, other types of people, dancers, was suicidal. Yeah, I can imagine you being suicidal, being forced to drink your own semen and piss and uh, with a knife to your head and people trying to take your freedom. You can't do things that you want to do. <clears throat> I remember this was this guy. Uh, <clears throat> I like that. Houston. So Houston, yeah, I don't know these people's name, bro. I'm telling you, Houston rapper uh, lost eye. Right, Houston made headlines 2005 when he attempted suicide. Oh, wow. Oh, suicide. Why? Why? In a London hotel room, and later gouged his eye out with a fork. <coughs> God damn the fuck you. Right, I found him. Now you had. I don't know if this is the. In the field, but he, he's going to say some th- stuff, but I found it. <clears throat> now, this is the rapper that was called Houston. He was calling himself Houston. I think it's Houston Summers. But he gouged his eye out because he he had to do a sacrifice, he said, man. You know, this he, he used to look like this when he was young. And then later on, he looked like this. He gouged his eye out, you know. Well, he's going to talk about it a little bit. I, injury man, talk to us and walk with us. Take us through exactly what happened. Everybody want to know this. We're going to hear from your mouth. That's what you want to know, brother. I'm from the hood, so where, where I come from, it's a whole nother element. Where, where I come from, different from the Hollywood scene, which is why I stay in the background in the scenes, because it's, it's, too, it's too many Fruit Loops in the Hollywood scene. So. Fruit Loops. You know what we used to call fruity people back in the days, right? It's a bundle of sticks. If you don't know what a bundle of sticks is, <laughs> basically it's something that you set on fire. Like in Sodom and Gomorrah, you had uh, something set them on fire. That's 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 what it means. A bundle of sticks. Toss the, toss the bundle of sticks in the fire so that we can keep warm off of their burning body. <laughs> So I stay in the background when it comes to, you know, taking you someplace and making you do something to sugarcoat. Taking you someplace and making you do something and sugarcoat. What? What the fuck? I say no to it. They said I say no to it. They want to sugarcoat you. You know, back in the days, they used to say, he got a lot of sugar in his tank. Mm. A casual way to suggest a straight man might be sodomite in the closet or bisexual. Get the sugar in his tank mug. <laughs> Get a lot of sugar in your tank. Mm, here. Male acting feminine. Usually a reference to sodomites. A bundle of sticks. <clears throat> That's what he was saying. That's what they wanted to do with him. And they wanted to do it. 
that you stabbed it out yourself and all these things that you know what I'm saying that there was drugs involved clear the record for everybody out there basically the, the, the record's clear you know what I mean I, I, I got an eye injury you know what I'm saying dealing with certain thugs dealing with certain thugs de, 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 dealing with certain gangsters dealing with certain gangsters dealing with certain mafia dealing with certain mafia I had to get out that industry. Man. I had to get out that industry. So let me play it again without me interrupting. Sorry about that. I mean, I, I, I got an eye injury. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with certain thugs, de, 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 dealing with certain gangsters, dealing with certain mafia. I had to get out that industry, man, for a second and take a breather. Because everything was clobbering down on me. Everything was going a little bit too hard on me. You know, I was blowing up. I went gold with that single with Nate Dogg and Chingy. The way they was marking me, I wanted to come out with my real record. That record was written for me. I didn't come out with that record. The clothes I was wearing wasn't really me. The clothes that I was wearing wasn't really me. Doesn't that ring a bell? Because if you watch the documentary series of Wu-Tang, they did the same thing to RZA. He, here was his first song. <clears throat> Rizza, his first song. Uh, oh, I love you, Rakim. Some sissy ass love shit because they want to make you a girl. They want to make you a girl. Love making love, punk ass love songs and stuff like that. They don't want you to be influencing these young men to be men. They want you to influence them to be carried, catering all their love to these um, prostitutes. Basically, yeah, yeah, I love you, and keep only females in the background and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? All this dressed also in a clown suit. Where's the where's the penguin clown suit? Here, they got him in in this shit, surrounded by a bunch of females, and you know what the scripture says? Sirach <clears throat> uh, forty two and twelve. Mm. Ecclesiastes 42 and 12, a.k.a. Sarah. Behold not everybody's beauty. Don't, don't, like, you know what I'm saying? Not everybody, not, no, don't. A man's beauty, don't be beholding her like, wow, you know what I'm saying? I'll be looking at you and stuff. Like, don't do that. And also, some people, even if she's single, don't, don't really be looking at her like that. I mean, she, a lot of people are not beautiful, my man. You don't know what you're looking at, man. Why don't you make a child with her and see if you open the gates of hell through her legs? You open the gates of hell. And I'm, I'm not talking about Bill Gates. And sit not in the midst of women. Don't do that, man. Why are you there? You get your ass home around there, man. Sit in the midst of men so that you can learn something. Not no dumbass niggas talking about, hey man, she ain't got that bitch, she ain't, she ain't chilling dope on the channel. Shut up. I don't want to hear that garbage. I don't want to hear that shit. Oh, about, or, or sit with them talking about cars and and bitches, that's most of the, most of the time they're talking about shit like that. I don't I don't hang around you, man. Get away from me. Now it does say that in there because I saw it real quick. We gonna have seven women. She'll take hold of one man, and you're not gonna be hanging around them. They're gonna be your wives. That's something else, okay? Hanging around bitches is something else than hanging around your own wives. And you're not gonna be hanging around them anyway. So you know, so that that's a. Because they're going to be talking, gossiping. That's what girls do. <laughs> but you need to teach them don't do that shit. It's going to cause trouble. <laughs> don't be stupid. <clears throat> anyway, they made him do this. Then he, you know, he got angry. And then they made this record. Um, that That's when... when bring the motherfucking records. Right, right. This one. Uh, no, no, no. I think it was... Where is it? Uh, no, 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 no. It was, it was another one. Uh, uh, um, video clip, fresh video clip. Black and white. It was black. Yeah, this one, this one. <coughs> oh yeah, it was protecting neck. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so when, when, the, when the protecting neck came out, that was them. That was them. So don't think that he's talking chitter chatter bullshit. He's not talking trap. Uh, crap he's talking reality and you can see that all over the place i don't need no wu-tang to show you this but i'm just it just jumped in my head because he did the same thing they're trying to make him come out smooth for uh for the ladies trying to make him a ladies man and just just an effeminate man you know uh, 
That's why all these singers, they're always kind of girly. Nate Dogg wasn't no bitch. I'll tell you that. Nate Dogg was the dope. He was the real one, man. See? But yeah, yeah, that's a whole other story. But the point is that they, they also took shots at the record labels here. I think it was the genius. He was talking about the record labels, like basically fuck them. And also in the genius, the jizza. His record also was dissing, I, I ain't no Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy could basically suck my ass or something, or something like that. Fuck all these record labels and stuff like that. That was, Jizza was talking about that. Because they know, they know. But they're not going to tell you. That's the evil part of them. They're just going to watch you. Let's say you have a park over there and there's a lot of snakes over there, right? But you're walking with your bare feet. You're just walking over there toward that direction. And he's standing there and he sees you walking toward the direction where the black mamba snakes is. He's not saying anything. He's not warning you because he don't give a fuck. See, y'all are this out. We, we open our mouth like, hey, hey, don't go there. Bark. We're like them barking dogs. We bark at you, man. We warn you like, yo, yo, don't, don't go over there. There's wolves over there, man. You know, the hireling. He's a hireling. These people are hirelings, man. They're not going to tell you. But then again, they did tell you in the, time, in, the, in the song. But the funny thing is, this is just one song. Why don't you do an interview? Can't do that. Why? Can't talk about that. You can't. You cannot say that. Take that down. You can't say certain shit. Uh, this guy, Takashi, told you. Right? Anyway. You know what I mean? I'm more of a harder nigga, as you can see. You know what I mean? They, they put that Michael Jackson jacket on me. You know, made me wear that jacket and shit. They put that Michael Jackson jacket on me and made me wear that shit. You have to do it. I don't want to. You have to. Oh, yeah? Well, well you know what? What's going to happen if I don't do it? Well, you get a nine to your head, motherfucker. How about that? You gonna turn into suicidal? How about that? Eh? Smoking so much lean. I saw a dead bird fly. Okay, whatever. But yeah, going back over here. So I had to rip myself away before motherfuckers get the wrong impression about me. So what's up? With and they did get the wrong impression about you. They thought you was soft. But yeah, you wasn't. But still, hey, you went up in there. You you didn't say no, because <laughs> you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> they, would, they would do some shit to you. This new movement, man. You got this. But anyway, to make a long story short, he gouged out his eye because that was the way that he felt uh, at ease in his soul. So he did a he did a self sacrifice, man. He he took his eye just to basically put his soul to rest because his soul was unruly. And then he was asking, "What should I do?" And then he heard a voice that said, "Gouge out your eye." And then he did it. And then he said, after I did that, I felt the calm in my soul. <clears throat> and then, you know, I got out of the industry because, you know, he had this injury. And basically, you know, his, he sold his soul, but he gave his eye. What, <laughs> he gave his eye. If, if I write, uh, let me see, if I write, if I. He took this literally. It says here, Matthew 5, 29, If thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. Now, this doesn't mean that you should do it literally. It's the same thing with verse 3. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut, cut it off. How can your hand offend you? No, meaning your mind, your the things that you do, the things that you see, the things that you want to have, the things that you want to want to touch. Let's say you really desire to be rich and want to have things and stuff like that. Cut that mindset off and cast it from you, right? But he took it literally. You could take it literally too, but that's when you do some sacrifice shit, you know? He signed the contract, which is, that's some witchcraft shit, man. You might not believe it, but Tom Todd, the John Todd, he was talking about everybody that signs a record deal. <laughs> Look at Gilly the Kid. I just showed you a video, Gilly the Kid. He lost his he lost his son after he he signed a, 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 a what was it a hundred million or a fifty million dollar deal, and he was crying when he signed that deal. Everybody knows about these sacrifices, man. You know Jennifer Hudson, her whole family, when she signed that deal, that guy Bruno, the singer. He's a Latino, actually. His father is. And his mother is a Filipino. This this Bruno guy. This Bruno singer. What the fuck was this, bro? What? Oh, I don't think that's him. That's a movie. Okay, weird. Okay. 
sing Bruno Mars, yeah, I forgot his uh, last name. He, as you can see, he had the afro, but his mother is Filipino something, and his father is uh, Latino, Native American. His name is Hernandez. <clears throat> so he's an Israelite. And he makes some good music too, but I'm not into that love punk ass. <laughs> I seen a few, I heard a few uh, songs that was actually you know I like him Sade he has a few good songs because I like the old school he come with the old school I see him with some old school stuff I'm not listening to his music but I heard it you know like stupid shit like catching a grenade I'm like yo who fucking so? <laughs> catching grenade for you that's that's some dumb shit man I don't know man they, these guys are falling for these women heads over heels that's why the sons of God fell for the women too they fell. Bop, 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 bop. Fell down the stairs, fly the stairs, bop, 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 break your skull. You know, they falling for these women. I'm not falling for no bitches, bro. It says he Peter Jean Hernandez. <clears throat> I like you. <laughs> Lord willing, I'm not falling for you, man. That goes directly to the book of Genesis where the sons of God fell for the daughters of men. I'm not falling for no female, bro. Lord willing. He that pleaseth the Lord, he keepeth her far away from her. see what is it again he that pleased the Lord um, what is it again how, how did it go again please the Lord no 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 this is about the philosophies this is another one Yeah, I think this is it. The book of Ecclesiastic, uh, Ecclesiastes 7 and 6, it says, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. A lot of trickery. And her hands as bands and trying to tie you up. Whoso pleaseth the Heavenly Father shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. You get what you deserve. You got an evil chick? gonna rob you for all your money <laughs> you deserve you picked her because of her looks you didn't pick her because of her mind it's very easy to pick a chick for her look that's why the lord said uh, don't be looking at these people and just behold them like behold this is the this is my wife no 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 nigga that's somebody else's wife that you have temporarily right about now <laughs> that's not your wife man she's just she's just uh She's like a doorknob. Everybody gets a turn. <clears throat> that's not your wife. That's the girl you with, or or the girl that's with you right now. Let's say that. No, 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 no. That's the girl you with actually. She's she isn't with you. You're with her. That's that's horrible. <clears throat> She's supposed to be with you, not you with her. I'm dating her. No, 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 no. She's dating me, motherfucker. <laughs> that's how it's supposed to be. Anyway, enough of that. But uh, yeah, so. You heard it from him. I'm going to put the links in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. And then uh, this one also. And, you know, they do things to people. And let me go back to over. So they're going to get caught in their own imaginations. For the wicked, uh, Psalms 10, 3. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetous. The ones that, the people that are covetous want everything from somebody else. Those are the ones that they bless. Whom the Lord abhorred. He hates people like that. But going back to the... Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, this. So, um, and, and Matthew five twenty nine. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not thy whole body should be cast into hell, the destruction, grave. And if thy right hand offend thee, cast it out. Basically, it's going into that too. But it's also, for example, wait, let me read on. And cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast in hell. But he took this one literally, and what I think that he did spiritually, I think in the physical form, I, I think spiritually that he did in the physical form is he gave himself a sacrifice. He wanted to get out that contract. 
but he didn't know how. So what he did was he sacrificed his literally physical eye. And then he said his peace, his, his soul was at peace. I don't know if he says it in this in this uh, interview, but I had another interview. I can't find it. That's that's why I don't have it. It was an old interview too. And I saw it and I was like, damn, he, he did that. He was in the hotel and he said something told him, gouge out your eye. And then basically, you know, he said, I felt a calm as as never before. Like I felt a calm in my in my in, um, soul. I think it was here. I don't I don't know, man. He he had two eyes here, so I don't think it's here. He told it when he had one eye. <clears throat> so I'm not sure which video it is. So uh, I'm gonna leave it at that. And uh, there's another scripture that says in um, mm, left hand. Matthew 6 and Matthew 6 and 3 so it says here but let the sorry but when thou doest alms let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth how is that possible your left hand doesn't think your right hand doesn't think you think so what does this mean people that you put on your right hand are the people that you love and trust so you keep them on the right hand people that you know on the left hand are not necessarily people that you hate you might like them but they're not really close to you <clears throat> they're just people acquaintances they're just people that are in the world or at your job so you don't let these type of people know what you're doing uh with the scriptures for example you don't go to your boss and tell them like hey man you a devil we're going to enslave all y'all we gonna do this, devil. You did this to my enemy. You don't do that, you know. You don't let your, the people on your left hand, like for example, the employer, your your so-called boss. You don't let him because he's on your left hand. You don't let him know what you're doing <laughs> on a Saturday <laughs> when you out there teaching on the street. You don't you don't let them know. You don't go to you know parties or whatever i don't go to parties but i'm giving you an example you don't go to birthdays i don't go to birthday but i'm giving you an example you don't go there and then you start preaching about yeah you know this thing is actually a babylonian thing is actually wicked satanic you don't go to no christmas uh, family gathering and then start talking about you know this is of the devil because it says in the bible that you're not supposed to have a christmas tree in your house you don't do that <laughs> you shouldn't <laughs> if you want to uh you know be um, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked for example <clears throat> that's another one for example we know that uh, Psalm 64 to hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked now this is talking about the elites they call themselves the Illuminati these are the secret counsel of the wicked from the insurrection of the workers of iniquity who wet their tongue like a sword which is their loss and bend their bows to shoot arrows even bitter words one of their bitter words is <sighs> four times <clears throat> four times a lifetime here. Uh, here all sides for example these are bitter words because 41 percent the point is what they want to do this is a lie by the way 41 percent this bullshit but they're pushing these type of laws right they're they're, they're they're putting it on the table to get people to know that they're talking about it and to gradually get you in there just like how they gradually got you to be for uh, cutting your son's genitals off and cutting your daughter's breasts off and people are doing it people are yeah you know i don't want to be a child abuser and you know it's child abuse if you don't if you don't chop their things off because they're going to be sorrow and, and, and they're going to be hurt and they, they're going to go through life and that, 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 that without being what they feel that they are stuff like that you know bullshit and they got you they got you but support the lifetime limit of four flights per person to do what to combat climate change bullshit <clears throat> and the surface bullshit Ain't no way 41% of the French people are going to support that bullshit. They're lying to you. Okay, they're always lying to you. When they do polls, when they do polls on the news or something like that, they never asked you. 
They never came to your neighborhood. Never. I have never been asked for a poll. But they say people in my region, in my area, say, they say like, yeah, 45% is down with this. And it says yes. And uh, whatever. Another uh, amount of percentage says no. And a, and a smaller amount of percentage of the people where I live in the neighborhood say and, uh, they're undecided. These people never ask me. I ask everybody in my in, in the gallery where, where I live at, you know, uh, everybody, I ask all floors, I ask them, I ask them like, hey, did they come here and ask you things? I said, no, no, what are you talking about? And then I showed them the article, like, look, they even know, like, they're, they're, these people are lying, but that's what they do. These polls are bullshit, man. They're not, they're not, they don't, they have the money, they have the manpower, but to a certain degree, actually, they don't have the manpower, nor the, the, the feeling of going and asking literally let's say you live in a neighborhood with hundred thousand people literally just just uh, for example a, a round number <clears throat> they're not gonna go and ask literally every hundred thousand individual person that lives in your uh, place the place where you are they're not gonna do that they're gonna actually ask like maybe a thousand people <laughs> not even that a few hundreds <laughs> let's just say a thousand okay from the hundred thousand 